Hey guys, we're back. This is episode 9 of our 5... There I go again. Of our Chrono Trigger Let's Play. <coughs> and... Uh, like I said, I did a little leveling, although I don't think I'll be doing it again. At least not, uh... Not too soon, at least. Because, um... <coughs> One thing about Chrono Trigger you can say that you can't really say much about other RPGs is that there's not much grinding required. You kind of do most of your grinding just going through everything. So there is one nice area that you can grind um, tech points for. And yes, we now have Hypno Wave. Ignore all the monsters, because I don't feel like fighting today. No, not today. Go to the market. And pick up an item. The bronze helm will do. But I think we're going to pick one up anyway, so no. We're not buying it. Yeah, a lot of the times in this game, you'll have to find that, um... <coughs> <coughs> a lot of the times in Chrono Trigger, it's, it's basically the same as with, um... Uh, a lot of the time in Final Fantasy 1, and my other LP, where I'll buy an item in store, and then, like, five minutes down the road, I'll be in a dungeon, and I'll pick up the same item, and I'll be like... I just wasted, like, a hundred thousand gold, or something, I don't... I don't think there's anything around here that's worth a hundred thousand gold. Well, there might be. Who knows? <coughs> yes, uh, in order for this little blue sparkly thing to come out, you need to speak to her first. Sparkly blue thingy! What'd you find? A hairpin. That's God, he has royal crest. I haven't really decided on what kind of voice to give the characters. So yeah, <coughs> for now, uh, Luca has this really bad Western accent or something. Huh. Please not do that. Sure what that does. Oh, okay, it slows me down, looks like. Oh come on. Well, let's just use Hypno Wave for the hell of it. And as you can see, all the enemies are wide awake. As I said before, Hypno Wave doesn't really work that well. Oh yeah, there we go. Pew! 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 Damn! She's pretty damn strong! I mean, damn! I don't think I've ever seen fire do that kind of damage before. Or flame toss, rather. Who's calling? We don't want any. Have a nice day. Phew, that was close. Blue flame! Naginata! Ack! The slice. I'm not sure I want to do a voice for him, because it'll be all posh and fake British, and the last time I tried to do an LP for this, I kept having, like, the, every, the end of every one of his lines was like, uh, God save the Queen! <laughs> And I don't want to offend if a friend. I don't want to offend any uh, British people who might be watching this, or any people who have British friends, or any British people who have friends who might be watching this, or something to that effect. <coughs> Lower thine guard, and thou art allowing the enemy in. It is my favorite, favorite, favoriteest character.
He really reminds me of basically every single character in Dragon's Dogma. Um, those of you who don't know about that, uh, go watch some of my earlier Final Fantasy 1 LP episodes. <coughs> and I actually mentioned it, and I ended up getting it. I got the uh, the expanded version, uh, Dark Arisen, which is like um, Fable Lost Chapters, where it's a standalone expansion pack kind of thing. And basically, if you've got the all Japanese caps, or not Japanese, but if you've got the English um, audio instead of the Japanese one on, everybody talks with this sort of medieval... Um, is it linguistics? Dialect, I guess? Maybe? Something like that? You know, where they have all their... Well, not really all their these and thous, but they do a lot of, uh, you know... That's the thing. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Like, they don't speak in, you know, regular people talk. I guess at that time it would have been regular, but still. Um, by the way, if you guys don't have that game, you should pick it up. It's very nice. Although, you're going to be a little annoyed with some things here and there, because apparently they didn't quite know what they were doing designing that. Okay, back to the game we're actually playing. Um, yeah, we were looking for a hidden door. We were looking for a hidden door. Press the keyboard. Um, I believe it would be your... If you're using an actual SNES controller, I think it would be your, uh, your A button. And if you're using an Xbox 360 controller that's set to the SNES controls, it would be your B button. And if you're using a keyboard, then I don't have no idea, but mine is C. Because I've got it set up as, you know, A and D are L and R, S is X, Z is Y, X is B, and C is A. Now, if you can say all that from memory, you're good to go. Because I'm a tiered. Oh boy. Diablos. <clears throat> Frog is another character who uses power instead of a uh, hit to determine his strength. There's gotta be a way to make the battles go faster. And I'm sure there is, and I'm just not even paying attention to it. Battle speed... Th there, we'll make it two. I don't expect we'll be dying anytime soon. Hopefully not. I And Frog has some weird fucking ass abilities. Like Slurp. Restores your allies' HP some. Literally, he just sticks his tongue out and licks you. Kind of like most people would do in real life. Ha! Ah! He has bronze mail. And a power glove. Tear <laughs> power glove. Hey, I have one of those too! Gimme, gimme, gimme! Not quite as powerful as I am, but he'll do. Actually, we won't be needing the sight scope. We'll just need. We really need the speed. Luca needs to attack more often. Uh, we're gonna explore this left half of the rooms, and then we will. Uh, we will be back. Steel saber is not as good as load sword, although it's very close. Very close indeed. Uh, one power tab. And, uh, not to spoil... Yeah, I kind of am spoiling things right now, but... Frog will not be with us for very long. So we're going to go ahead and use this on the character that will be with us for the entire game. Oh, the entire game. Yeah, we'll use on Chrono! Your humans? They're hiding the queen in the back. Please rescue her. Inside this building, there's a room dedicated to Megas. There's something about a treasure there. Yeah, 
Anything in here? Anything in here? Ether. Tonic. Maiden suit. Which, as you might guess by the name, can only be worn by women. That is so sexist. Okay, I said we would explore only that half, so yes, we'll do that. And, uh... We'll be right back.